Embedding files from your favorite Word, PowerPoint, and Excel apps can be a really, really useful feature. You can put them on your website or a Sway file or virtually any other thing that you can embed on, and then the users can interact with them as if they're interacting with the actual files. So it can look like this, for example, where you have Excel on the left and PowerPoint on the right. So with Excel, you can navigate worksheets, you can even select some cells in certain cases, add filters, and do a lot more things. And in PowerPoint, you can go and advance slides, uh, even some animations and transitions will play with that as well. So here's an important thing. If you want to share these files when you embed, you want to do that for anyone with a link, so a public link, then you need to use OneDrive personal. You cannot use OneDrive for business. This is at the time of making this video. It may have changed by the time you view this, but why I've discovered the hard way is that you can't do it through OneDrive for business. You can do it from a free or a paid OneDrive account if it's a OneDrive personal account. However, if you want to share this only with specific people, for example, people in your organizations, in certain departments, or even people outside your organization, but it's not a shared link with the world, then you can do those for OneDrive for Business, but you cannot do them through OneDrive Personal. So my name is David Benheim, and I have lots of videos on SharePoint, Excel, Google Sheets, Power BI, PowerPoint. So if you like what you see, then please subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. And with that, let's get going. So just to show you what it means to embed and what it looks like, on the left I have an Excel file where you can navigate sheets, you can scroll up and down, you can even select files, and in certain cases you can allow people to filter and type in the cells. You can navigate hyperlinks as well. Uh, and in PowerPoint, you can navigate slides back and forth as you wish to, or you have these extra controls where you can do things like download a copy or print a PDF, uh, etc. So let's look at how we can do that. So here I have an Excel file with some raw data, some pivot tables, and some dashboards that are interactive like this. So you can click on various elements to filter by those. And if you want to know how I made this, then I have some other videos on it that I'll link to here. But what we want to do is we want to embed this into a website, or in this case, I'm going to use a Sway file. So in order to do that, the first thing we need to do is save it onto the cloud. As I said on the intro video, if you want to publish this to anyone with a link, then you need to save as and save onto your personal OneDrive, not your business OneDrive, your personal OneDrive. So let me show you what that is. I'm just going to save it here in the root folder. I'm going to press save embed demo file, and then you'll see the auto save turn on, and then we're going to open this in online. So. If I go to share, I don't get the embed options over here on Excel desktop. I only get that in Excel online. So I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to uh, go to info and copy path. So copy path will enable me to then open up a browser window and paste. So here we are in Excel online and it's opened up on this screen. Uh, Excel Online has a lot of the same functionality as desktop, but personally, I much prefer the desktop version for most things. The slices do work. As you can see, they are changing the charts. And here it's saying that I am also in the desktop file. So that's me as well. So what I can do is I can go to file and then I can share and I get this embed option. Again, not available in Excel desktop. It tells me because I did this on OneDrive personal, it says generating this Anyone who visits the blog or web page with this embedded file will be able to view it without signing in. So I'm going to click Generate. We're going to notice that this is different if I share it on OneDrive for Business. But generally, when you want to embed something, you want to do that publicly. So that's why this is the go-to option usually. So you get this screen that pops up, and you can embed either the entire workbook, the selected range, where you can select some cells, as I've done already, uh, or certain charts. Uh, directly to a table or a pivot table as well. And you get these other options as well. So you can choose to hide or show the grid lines, uh, include a download link. I'm going to untick that because I don't want people to download it straight away. And I'm going to let people sort and filter, uh, even type into it and get them to start with a cell selected. So you can select that as well. You can change the dimensions here. Uh, I noticed that the Excel file goes for a, kind of almost a square format. Um, 
whereas PowerPoint and Word go for more of a rectangular one, but you can edit it here from the defaults. So from this, you can copy this embed code. So here I am in Microsoft Sway, and I love this application. It's a forgotten one within the Office family. I've got a couple more videos on it to show you it, but there's lots and lots of cool things you can do with it. It becomes kind of like a web page, uh, but you can embed and do all sorts of fun things with it. So I'm gonna paste my code in that I took before, and I'm gonna change this to this medium one and press play. So it's loaded up now, and if I scroll down, I can see that this is coming up. This is my interactive dashboard, and I did allow it to be able to filter, and these slices act as a filter, so that's pretty cool. Um, you get all these controls, you can click around, you can even type in a cell because that's something that I allowed you to do. And well, if I scroll for the rest of this way, you can see that you have text staying where it is whilst images move. And you can also do these kind of before and after shots. You can have videos directly embedded into it. There's loads of cool things you can do with Sway and it's very, very, very easy to create a slick design like this. So let's look at the buttons underneath it. So you have here, this is virtually nothing, just opens you up to sign into Excel online. Um, this is refresh. So this is um, some feedback you can give to Microsoft. This is information about this workbook. It has the URL and the embed code. So you can access the file as well, just through this URL. Or if you want to click to it directly, you can click on this view full screen workbook. Now this is one of the ways that I think it falls a little bit it, because I said I only wanted to share the dashboard and indeed it only shows me that in the Sway file. But once I click into that thing, then it allows me to see every worksheet in my file. Now this is view only, I cannot change that to editing because it's a view only link, but it is still not exactly what I would want. I would want it to completely restrict it and essentially to just remove these two buttons. Now what is interesting is that PowerPoint, Word and Excel can all do this feature, but they have different ways of going about it. And some of them have these buttons appearing differently. Another very cool use case is if you have something that's parameterized, so someone can type in these things and it does sort of change these charts quite a lot. Um, or it could have lots and lots of formulas that it's maybe creating a data model that is connecting through some input cells. So from this, you can go to file, share embed. And what's key here is making sure that people can type into cells, that changes will not be saved. So I'm okay with the entire workbook. I'm just going to copy this and then go back to my Sway. So it paste my embed code into the Sway. Let's make it maximum intensity and press play. So it's very big here for me to be able to interact with. And I can see that I have my numbers here that I can type into. So if I press number one, I could see that these automatically change. So a really, really good sort of built-in calculator that can do really, really sophisticated things um, and give you parameterized dashboards or other things can be used with this method. You can use all sorts of formulas that you can in the entirety of Excel, of course. So it can be a really good way to give your users who are visiting your web page a sophisticated calculator or a financial model or whatever it may be, which is pretty good. The other way you can do it with Excel, and this gives you more granularity on exactly what you want to show, is you can also um, go to Power BI. So Power BI is a free application. It has a paid tier as well, but what I'm about to show you can do with the free app within your Office 365 package. So from here, you can click Get Data and you can choose to upload a file. I'm going to choose. So I'm going to get this local file and open it. Then I'm going to choose import. And then you get this. So I can view the data set and start creating a report. So here from the report, if I just want the table, I can just click on table, just tick them all. But I can create some charts as well. So I can look at Singer uh, by sales and make that into this chart. I can then add a slicer for city so that they reflect all the data that's being shown there. And I have another tutorial on Power BI because it is a fantastic application that I love. 
So from here, you can go to file and then you choose a, to save it somewhere. And once it's saved, you can click on share embed report and you can get published to web. And it does warn you that it makes everything a public website. In this case, that's what we want, so that's okay. And then here you have the embed code that you can copy. And again, you can put that in a Sway file or in a website. So in Sway, I can paste the embed code. And here's my Power BI file. This probably looks the best and kind of restricts what you may want it to restrict as well. You can navigate pages if there are multiple pages, but you can't analyze or go into the data. You can only see what the person has chosen to put up here, which I quite like. So I do use this sometimes as well. Power BI is, of course, a much larger application. And here on my website, I've created a COVID dashboard that has lots of hover on show points and lots and lots of other filters and things like that. You can navigate to it by clicking on this and choosing the page as well. PowerPoint, here I am in my OneDrive personal. So again, I can go to file, share, and then embed. And then it gives me the code here. Notice it doesn't have anywhere near as many options. The only option I have is interaction to use default auto advanced settings. So I'm going to copy that, go back into my Sway. So here you can navigate through different sheets and animations like that. This is an animation. They do work to an extent. This is my animation, but the animations in my PowerPoint slide look like this. So it works, but it does everything as one object. It's a little bit limited. Uh, transitions sometimes work, sometimes don't. I don't really, really particularly like it. Another thing that is respected is hidden slide. So the word equivalent looks like this. Again, this is a public link using my personal OneDrive. So I can change the width and height similar to Excel, but I have completely different options here. I can choose whether they can print or see the embed code. This was an option that I didn't get in either of the two, and I can choose to start from a certain page. So let's do start from page three and let's copy it. Back in my Sway file, uh, let's make all of these a little bit smaller so you can see them. You also have the option of original size, which follows exactly the dimensions there. So if I press play, I can see them appearing there. It does show them side by side, which is nice. So as you can see, the footer is just pretty different in all three of them, which is really strange to be honest. Um, you have this one, probably these two are more equivalent because you have the same kind of buttons, but you can, if you want to download a copy from here, but you can't get the embed code. So you can restrict and take out print and embed. You don't get that equivalent here. Uh, the Excel one, you don't get the drop down list, but you do get the options here, but you can always see the embed code and the URL. So they are pretty different. Um, I guess different designers used each one to design each copy. So now I am in OneDrive for Business. So it is interesting because from here, and even if you navigate here and choose anyone with a link, it still won't work for anyone with a link. So this is what I said at the beginning. You need to do it from OneDrive Personal if you want that to happen. But you can share it to people with existing access or specific people and then they will be able to see it on a Sway file or on a website. However, it does often prompt them to sign in, which is not ideal. Once you've shared it with the right people, you can go file, share, embed. Notice it doesn't give you that question that says you are going to share this publicly because it's not actually sharing it publicly, even if you do to share with anyone with a link. But you get the same appearance. But just to show you what it looks like from the user's perspective, so here is a Sway file again a public link on OneDrive for Business will ask you to sign in. Um, so it's not actually public and it will only work if you can sign in with those credentials and the others do work. So all the other publics that are on OneDrive personal do work. Even if you share the file with them and they are logged in on their browser, it still often asks them to sign in. This feature is really good, I think, if you share it publicly through OneDrive personal, but if you do it privately only for certain specific people, I don't think it's worthwhile. So if you like this video, then my name is David and I'm and I have loads more videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Power BI, Teams, Zoom, 
everything and anything that you use in your office job. So feel free to click the like button and subscribe for more awesome content.